Imagine a jet so fast that nothing could catch it. Not missiles, not other aircraft, not even your imagination. This is not science fiction. This is the SR-72, nicknamed the Son of Blackbird. Could a jet like the SR-72 really reach Mach 10 and survive the heat, stress, and pressure of hypersonic flight? Or does the SR-71 Blackbird still rule the skies? Top Gun, Maverick showed us the SR-72 Dark Star reaching Mach 10. But is it Hollywood fiction or a glimpse of future warfare? Let's uncover the engineering truth. Welcome to Corecraft Engineering, where we decode next-gen tech and cutting-edge inventions. Today, we dive into the SR-72 Son of Blackbird, the hypersonic successor to the legendary SR-71, the fastest manned jet ever built. We'll explore its propulsion, design, speed, material challenges, and how modern tech could make the SR-72 real, or not. Could it really hit Mach 6? Or even Mach 10? Hit subscribe and tap the bell icon to stay updated. What's the fastest jet you know? Let's get into it. To understand the SR-72, we need to go back to the Cold War. The SR-71 Blackbird, introduced in the 1960s, was a marvel of engineering. Capable of flying at Mach 3.3, about 3,540 kilometers per hour, or over 2,200 miles per hour, at altitudes above 85,000 feet, it could outrun any threat. At that speed, its titanium skin turned purple from heat. Built by Lockheed Martin's secret skunk works division, it used cutting-edge materials, stealth shaping, and a unique hybrid turbojet ramjet engine. This engine is the heart of the SR-71 Blackbird. The Pratt & Whitney J-58, an afterburning turbojet, and the only engine ever designed to cruise continuously above Mach 3. At supersonic speeds, air enters through a movable inlet spike and a complex diffuser system that gradually slows the airflow from supersonic to subsonic. This enables efficient combustion and prevents destructive engine stalls, known as unstarts. Above Mach 2.5, nearly 20% of the compressed air is bled from the fourth compressor stage, directly into the afterburner. This boosts thrust like a ramjet while cooling critical engine parts so the J-58 can survive searing skin temperatures of over 600 degrees Celsius. This unique turbo ramjet design made the SR-71 fly higher, faster, and longer than any operational jet in history. But by 1998, the Blackbird was retired. Satellites and stealth drones took over. Yet the world has changed. Satellites are vulnerable. Drones can be jammed. America needs speed again, and that's where the SR-72 comes in. In 2013, Lockheed Martin quietly announced the SR-72. The goal? A Mach 6 unmanned aircraft. That's over 7,400 kilometers per hour, or 4,600 miles per hour, fast enough to cross the Atlantic in under an hour. Unlike the SR-71, the SR-72 is designed as a hypersonic craft, beyond Mach 5. Why? Because speed equals survivability. At Mach 6, there's no need for stealth. Nothing can shoot you down. And it's not just for spying. With hypersonic strike capability, it could reach any target on Earth in minutes. The SR-72 is designed to be silent, stealthy, and untouchable. In Top Gun Maverick 2022, Tom Cruise pilots a fictional hypersonic jet called Dark Star. But here's the twist. The jet was designed by Lockheed Martin, and it wasn't just for the movie. Engineers and designers from Skunk Works worked closely with the filmmakers. Even China reportedly retasked satellites after the trailer dropped, thinking it was real. Dark Star, with its sharp angles, wide air intake, and blended body, looks eerily similar to SR-72 concept art. So is Dark Star a hint? A testbed? A cover-up? Lockheed won't say. But many now believe Dark Star was our first look at the real SR-72. To fly at Mach 6, design is everything. The SR-72 is expected to use a blended body wing structure, optimized for both speed and stealth. Smooth surfaces, sharp angles, 
radar absorbing materials. All help it evade detection. But the real challenge? Surviving the heat. At hypersonic speeds, friction heats the airframe to over 2000 degrees Celsius, enough to melt aluminum. So the SR-72 will likely use advanced composites, high temperature ceramics, and titanium alloys, similar to, but far superior to, what the SR-71 used. Traditional engines can't handle hypersonic speeds. That's why the SR-72 will use a turbine-based combined cycle propulsion system, or TBCC. Here's how it works. A turbojet handles takeoff and acceleration up to Mach 3. Then a scramjet kicks in, using supersonic airflow to ignite fuel with no moving parts. It's raw combustion at thousands of degrees, pushing the craft toward Mach 6 and beyond. This transition, from turbojet to scramjet, is the holy grail of propulsion. It's seamless, it's powerful, and it's still experimental. Let's talk numbers. Mach 6 is nearly 2 kilometers per second. The SR-72 could theoretically fly from New York to London in under an hour. Compare that to the SR-71, which topped out at Mach 3.3 and needed to refuel mid-flight. But here's the catch. At those speeds, air compression alone creates intense drag and heat. The combustion process must stay stable in a constantly changing airflow. The margin for error? Near zero. The SR-72 won't just observe, it's built to strike. Reconnaissance. Real-time targeting. Missile delivery at hypersonic speed. Imagine launching a kinetic weapon from Mach 6. Before the enemy even knows what happened, the aircraft is gone. That's the goal. Overwhelming speed and surgical precision. The Pentagon calls this prompt global strike. The SR-72 is its sharpest edge. There's more. The SR-72 is expected to be unmanned. No cockpit, no pilot, and no human limits. It will use AI-assisted flight controls, encrypted satellite guidance, and autonomous evasion systems. Think of it as a hypersonic drone, but smarter, faster, and harder to stop than anything in the air today. So how do they compare? The SR-71 is a proven marvel, a manned titan of the Cold War. Titanium, precision, and speed beyond imagination. The SR-72? It's a vision, twice as fast, fully autonomous, and designed for both spying and striking. But until it flies, the Blackbird still holds the crown. The SR-72, son of Blackbird, represents the next leap in aerial warfare, hypersonic, invisible, and unstoppable. But it also shows how far we still have to go. If you found this breakdown insightful, hit like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for more mind-blowing inventions. Let us know in the comments. Do you think the SR-72 is already flying in secret? This is Corecraft Engineering, decoding the tech that defines the future. Until next time, keep your eyes on the sky, because the future is already airborne.